Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel, welcome to the National 24 Hour Time Trial Championships. We're actually here now, this is a bit scary, um, probably a bit more scary for that chap over there though who's actually doing it, Lee who we're supporting. This video is probably going to be two or three parts, I don't really know at this point, but this is part one essentially. So I'm going to try and introduce you to some of the support crew behind Lee doing his 24 hour TT. So you know myself, I've bored you all about that already. Uh, Matt, Matt's been on the channel a fair few times now, Matt's a club mate of mine, uh, very experienced road cyclist and, and time trial is coming on as well Iron Man as well definitely. yes very much so yeah just a single yeah and he's got a tattoo as well so he's definitely a legit <laughs> Ironman uh, so Matt's part of the support crew this weekend Matt's pretty clinical with his bike preparation always has some nitrile gloves tools organised that sort of thing so are we looking to you for mechanical support this weekend yeah hopefully nothing goes wrong I mean it's 500 miles so yeah the bike can last that but yeah we're ready for pretty much anything if so Good. Well, you'll see more of Matt over the next few hours as he gradually gets more and more stressed with me. But um, yeah, hope for a good weekend. Uh, in terms of support, what we've actually got physically, uh, Lee's got his car with some stuff in, but for the first few hours, it's, it's you and I pretty much, isn't it, between the two of us? So two vehicles with water, wheels, um, bike in the back of Matt's van and tools, etc. We've pretty much got, I don't want to say it, but every eventuality covered, have we? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, a spare bike should cover all, all the yeah, hope so, anyway, yeah. but Hopefully, it won't come to that. Yeah, yeah and our main, yeah, our main task for the first four or five hours is to keep Lee hydrate, as hydrated as possible and as cool as possible. So we've got loads of water, loads of electrolytes, loads of, loads of fluid to throw on him, essentially. So that's going to see what Lee's doing. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Thing, it's got to be moving. Right? Yeah, it's got to be moving, no stopping. Okay, so I'm stood with Mike Broadworth, who's actually uh, experienced in long distance cycling. I know you always play it down and say nobody can be really experienced. Um, I was on a webinar last year when I was training for the 12 hour and Mike you were very very helpful you shared, a lot of <laughs> you shared a lot of tips with me so, so thank you thank you very much you're the Lanzen John O'Groats record holder in correct from 42 hours is that correct 43 hours Four 25 okay only 43 hours uh, but you, you're gearing up to the 24 hour TT which starts this, later this afternoon how are you feeling what's the plan any tips yeah not too bad looking forward to it um Good. it's just nice to be back racing again mm -hmm. after a you know a long break in operations um like everyone a bit nervous about the heat but you know got lots of extra liquid packed away mm -hmm. you know get going to be using gels probably instead of solid food for the okay. first four hours but yeah excited and yeah. um you know enjoy enjoy the pleasure of being on a nice bike ride in the sunshine mm -hmm. do you change your strategy much with it being so hot i think i'll probably go less hard in the day just anticipating that the night's going to be nice and warm and fast and I just really like you know really conscious it would be easy to go out too hard in yeah. those conditions um, and you know you've got without wanting to sound like a cliche you've got to be you've got to be in it to win it and so you know you've got to be you, you've got to finish basically excellent so, cool well thank you very much I'll let you get on it you've got to prepare no, for this afternoon any supporters you want to shout out any sponsors or anything um, no just thanks to everyone who's interested in this kind of racing and you know hopefully watching this kind of stuff tempt other people yeah. to have a go in the future cool that's what I'm trying to do there's not many people who do this sort of thing at this sort of event so I'm just trying to Deal. Yeah, but well, thanks to you guys for coming out to support. And no I'm sure Lee's in safe hands. We've got the easy <laughs> bit, yeah. Good luck, have a good ride. I'll give Brilliant. you a shout. Cheers, Cheers Thank you very much. So, relax and forget yeah. about it. Almost. Yeah. Because nothing, you know, like in a 25 or a 10, you sweat every rise in the road. Yeah. Like, think hard enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas in this, it's like, okay, just calm down. Yeah. As long as I'm on the bike and I'm exactly, moving, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, I mean, that is, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Keep moving forward and enjoy it. Yeah. Laugh at these guys. Yeah, I mean, I've got top quality support crew, so what more can you ask for? Uh, looks can be deceiving. It might look like I know what we're doing, but when they say go. Right, so the star of the show, however, Lee Tunnicliffe. I'm not going to spend too long talking to Lee because he hasn't got a great deal amount of time before the start, and I imagine he's a lot more nervous than I am. Lee, are you ready? Oh, yes. Good. I am fully ready. Mate, I am so, so stoked for you. So buzzing. Mum and Dad, Alan and Ruth as well. Uh, We're buzzing, guys. Good. You're probably more nervous than I am as well. Nervous, <laughs> yeah. yes. Very nervous. Good. All right. Well, well Lee, that's it. Yeah. Do your best. Exactly. That's all we need. What's the uh, what's the foot cream, Lee? Well, it's ibuprofen gel because I know my feet are going to hurt. So, okay. you know, why not just start like yeah. it? Right. We'll see you when you set off and we'll see yes. you at various points. Have a good ride, mate. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't want to say it, but I feel really nervous. Well, yeah. You haven't got a pedal for 24 hours. No, I haven't. I think that's the easier bit, would you? <laughs> One minute, mate. It's a bit extravagant, isn't it? Tipping Buxton water on yourself. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Oh, that feels good already. Good, yeah. Thank you. 
Yes, Lee. Here we go, buddy. Enjoy it. Okay, so he's off. It's a bit anticlimactic, isn't it? Because like it's a, it's a steady start because he's got such a long ride ahead. But um, I think it's a bit of a relief off of all our shoulders now. He's actually pedalling his bike. He started, so one job done. So I didn't mention I had um, I had these t-shirts made up with Lee's face on. So they're pink so that he sta we stand out to him on the road so he's going to know where we're giving him bottles. And also people are asking about it and stuff. So it might not like we're on a stag dude, doesn't it? But, it does. Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and James said something else that I can't perhaps re repeat on the channel. But um, no, it's good. Okay, so we're expecting Lee any minute. Matt has got his carb mix, so he's going to drop him a bottle of that. James has got a bottle of water. He's standing about 200 metres further up the road. We haven't introduced James yet, but we'll see him in a minute. And I've got a bucket of water and a sponge. I'm not entirely sure whether he's going to use it on this lap, but he might use it in the future. I think he's probably two or three minutes away. Well done. Fuel, then water. Oh, that's the end of that one. Okay, good all the three. <laughs> Okay, so first feed station, Lee well, missed, missed the bottle, didn't he, really? So we're going to try and get him on the way back. He's gone through one. I didn't see on his bike how much he had left of the other one. But we'll find out from James if he got a bottle of water or not. I think he, took, I think he got the one off James. Okay. This is what it's going to be like. It's going to be hit and miss, but we're going to be here that frequently that I don't think it matters too much. So he's, what, an hour and a bit into the ride? And he had two bottles on his bike when he started. Next member of the support crew, some of you guys might recognise this face, uh, Triple Brutal James, part of the 24 hour support crew this weekend. Uh, I don't want to big him up too much, but an invaluable resource to have. Somebody who's done a lot of ultra endurance events to have somebody at an ultra endurance. It's 24 hours ultra? Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah, right. I think so. To have somebody who's done it here is a big help. So look forward to a good weekend. Yeah, yeah. Lovely weather. <laughs> feel a bit sorry for Lee in a time trial helmet, but he'll be fine. We'll just keep him uh, hydrated and plenty of food and it'll be great. Good. So we're on the first out and back that he's going to do quite a few times. Uh, we have got James's van on the loop that he'll come to later on, which is a bit better set up, but we're just trying to keep him hydrated here, that's all we say after he's just missed his first bottle, but we'll do better on this one. Okay, so this is difficult in that I'm trying to work out if I can see a rider in the distance, if it is Lee, so I know whether to hold this out or not, I'm out of sight of James and Matt, so it's difficult, but he needs to, he needs to get his bottle. If you, oh. Okay, so we've just seen, Lee just took a bottle off of me, which is confusing because Matt and James are further up the road with bottles, so he must have missed one of those, but at least I've got him one bottle of fuel, but we'll see what else they give him, and then he's not actually very far away until he comes back this way, we're quite near the top of the loop, so that means we can then work out what he's got, and then what he's then going to need the next time. He didn't say anything to me then, but he might have said something to them. This is stressful. What did, what did he get? What didn't he get? Uh, he got. Uh, he went for a bottle of my carb mix, but dropped it. Yeah. But he got that. Okay, and he got mine as well. So he's got two carb mix yeah, yeah. bottles. Perfect. Did you get his bottle back? No. I got. Didn't chip one. Oh, you got one. Yeah, right? got yeah one. and I got one. So yeah. That's two. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. The most important thing, though, Dan, is I need to take a chair next time because my legs are killing. <laughs> I, I can't do it without a chair. I, I feel for you. Stood in the sun. So what we're trying to do now is work out how long it is between each end of the loop that roughly that at least taking to get around so we know how long we can sit down for and how, how long before we have to start stressing about chucking him stuff. Given that we're just giving him two bottles of carb mix, we think it's only going to be about 10 minutes on this loop. So we're going to give him water next time. So we're going to, uh, James and Matt are going to give him bottles and I've got a sponge. I just think he might not pick it up, might not want it, but you know if he misses the bottles, it's a lot easier to grab a sponge and he can just wipe his face or squeeze it on him or something. I think that might be okay. So that's the uh, that's the plan. See how it goes there. So progress update: Lee has gone through 60 miles in two and a half hours. Sorry, two hours 38, which is about 22.8 miles an hour. So that is quick. Looking at his power stats, because we can see all this here is Wahoo Live Track. Uh, he's doing about 200 watts, and that's pretty much the, the pace that he wanted to set. He was definitely going to be looking at power for the first few hours, and then I think it's a case of see how you feel throughout the night and in the next day. It's absolutely bonkers. The more you say this, um, you know, you can start off with all the best intentions in the world, but power pace and pretty much goes out the window once you're a few hours in. I think, but who knows? Uh, anyway, so we're just waiting to give him some water we think he's going to have quite a lot of carb mix left but we're not entirely sure so we're trying to think about the three of us on this road so do we do carb mix carb mix water carb mix water carb mix you know what, what do what do we actually do and uh, we've gone for carb mix carb mix so ideally he definitely gets one of those and then water is an option at the end realistically he's only using water for cooling so getting the fuel in is probably more important than the cooling but 
I don't know, but we're just shouting what we've got to him. He's not yet asked for any gels or any food. He had quite a bit in his pockets. I have got a gel and a, a flapjack in my pocket, but I can't get it out in time when he shouts it. So it's just a case of him shouting it. And then on the next lap, we will then give him what he's asked for. I think this is Lee now. Water! 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 Okay, so you saw that, he just missed that bottle, he got it, knocked out my hand, dropped it. It's going a bit quick, to be honest, but what can you do? Um, I'm going to stay in the same place, he'll be back here in nine minutes and try and give him this water again. He said it's so something hot, so we clearly need some sort of cooling. These first few hours are so important to keep cool. If he overheats three, four, five, six hours in, it's going to really kick him in the nuts for the hours to come, so hold on. He's just missed that again, it's really not good. I wonder what the other two lads have managed to get him. He asked me, is that water? I said, yes. His eyes lit, eyes lit up with glee. And then he knocked it out of my hand. I'm debating whether I should start running to try and pass it in whilst I'm running, but it's hard to call because he's doing like 20 miles an hour. You're trying to give him a, a moving target versus a stationary one. I just don't know what's best, but um, I think I might try running on the next one. I took Matt's water yeah. and just sprayed it on himself. Yeah. It didn't take my water. Okay. So I guess he's got enough fluids to drink him. Yeah. Got it. I wouldn't take your water either. <laughs> um, on the way out, he shouted to me, it's so effing hot. Yeah. And, that, yeah, and he missed up more water on the way out. I thought, oh, he's going to want to. Seems like that's what he wants, doesn't it? Cool. Yeah, okay. um, a, a sensible thing from my perspective yeah. would be to pick a time now, the crew, yeah. when given conditions and the fact that he won't be eating, yeah. watch that we stop him and right. make him eat. Okay. Um, and so, I would suggest that at that point there wants to be a selection of food on offer. Yeah. So, in fact, Alan and Ruth are here. So it might be worth one of us or two of us going back and bringing a selection of stuff to yeah. keep in the van. I okay. Think. So, in terms of time, he's three hours in. He's got flapjack and gels on him. I know what you're saying, he might not be actually eating it. I'd like to hope he's disciplined enough to force some, something down, but... Just bring yeah. it through. Right. How does it seem? Uh, good, but hot. Yeah. So, we're just trying to talk about when we stop Lee versus when he wants to stop. So, James, you were saying that you'd want somebody to encourage you first, but then perhaps be a bit more forceful. What, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I think the next time that it's a convenient time to stop, as in when he's up near our other uh, yeah. HQ, if you like, is going to be about seven o'clock. That would be a good, and it's about five that's o'clock five, now. That's about five hours right That'd be a good time for him to stop, uh, be offered a sort of smorgasbord of something different to the flapjack he's been eating, see if we can get him to eat. I suspect he's not eating quite as much as he should because it's red hot, you don't feel like it, yeah. although he's taking lots of fluids. Um, but if he doesn't want to stop then, there's nothing we can do to make him. And I think what, and I would be fine with that as an athlete, you want to be in charge, but then maybe give him a couple of hours grace and then start to maybe twist his arm up his back a little bit, yeah. just so that we can get eyes on him and make sure that he's all right, mm -hmm. send him on his way again. Yeah, good. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we're going for a slightly different tactic now. In order to try and cool Lee down, I'm going to give him a sponge, obviously loaded with water. Um, he can definitely grab hold of that, whereas a bottle is going to knock out of his hands a lot easier. I've got James and Matt a bit further up the road who are going to give him carb mixers, so they've got two opportunities to get him one bottle. Give him a, a sponge and then we'll get, again, see him in about nine or ten minutes to be able to give him anything else that we've missed. Is this Lee? Is it not? I spend about half my life doing this at the minute. It's not. Now, it has dropped down temperature-wise. It is, what time are we on? Half past five in the evening. It's probably two or three degrees cooler than it was earlier. However, it doesn't feel like that when you're riding a bike, does it? I can tell it because I'm stood around, but I'm sure it feels just the same. Ugh, of all the times for the camera not to work, this GoPro is dead glitchy. Sometimes I press the button, it just doesn't turn on. Anyway, Lee just stopped, took his helmet off, and I basically just tipped that bucket over his head because he said he was really, really hot. So what I'm gonna do now is empty this bottle into the bucket, get the sponge all wet and give him the sponge on the way back. So hopefully that helps him cool down. And uh, you see the big patch of water on the floor where I chucked it over him. I wonder if he wants to change his helmet to his road helmet, but he didn't say that, and he knows he's got his road helmet, so we'll wait to take that instruction. Go ahead, buddy. Water coming up. He doesn't want more sponge. Why does it want more sponge? I think that'd be perfect. Oh, well. I mean, look at this. Pink shirts are a great shout. You probably can't see it, but we stand out really well. It's good. It is a couple of degrees cooler, but you probably don't feel it straight away on the bike. It looks better than when he came back this yeah. way. Yeah. I thought that was like 10 minutes different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, want to, I don't want to claim sole responsibility for that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so a quick check-in. Four and a half hours has gone past and Lee has just ticked over 100 miles. 3,000 feet of climbing, that's 22.1 miles an hour. That is solid. I would take that as, a, as an Ironman bike split. That is 
due to just dip under five hours is it for an Ironman that's awesome and considering he's got 19 and a half hours to go that's uh, very very strong so uh, it's hard to spot him I keep offering my sponge to any rider in like a grey or black skin suit but there you go this is the last lap he's got on this out and back circuit he's then going to head up to what's called the Pre's Heath loop or the pre I don't know what it's called basically there's a big roundabout where it's like the the, the hub of the centre of the 24 hour or the camper vans are parked there and stuff and he's going to be doing a loop based around there uh, we do have a, a camper van up there which has got a bit more better supply in terms of food and stuff both for supporters and for Lee so we're potentially going to as James said earlier we're going to suggest to him he stops when he gets on that loop we take all his wrappers off him refuel him food wise change his bottles give his bars a wipe let him have a stretch you know all those sorts of things before he settles into a couple of hours on that little loop up there but we'll see how he feels he needs to make his own decisions just with a little bit of guidance from perhaps people who know a bit a bit more like james okay buddy yes got in the sponge i hope you don't take it too far down there i've got to run down there oh i'll come back in the car <laughs> Card mix, water behind me. Feed, no. Next lap. Lee? No. <laughs> Good riding there, buddy. You're welcome, stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't even move. Yeah, Matt, yeah, yeah. why didn't you move? That was a dry run. Oh. We didn't move it. Three time lucky. Oh. It was down on the other way, it was. It was like five or six time lucky. <laughs> So we've just been through who's got what job for when Lee stops. This is going to be his sort of five and a half hour replenish, restock of food. We've got my load of stuff out. James's job, we have to give him a job, you see. James's job, <laughs> job is to talk to Lee. Uh, James, what sort of things are you going to be asking him? What are you going to be telling him? What's, what sort of conversations are going to be? I don't know, something like, uh, how are you feeling? Um, can I borrow some money? <laughs> um, did you put me in your will? Just in case his head boils in that Aero head helmet. Um, are you worried about the fact that you're riding tubs? <laughs> things like that, probably helpful things. No, I'll ask him if he wants peanuts yeah. or dates. Yeah. Uh, what he, whether he might want some real food later, and if so, what does he want? A cheese sandwich, does he want fish and chips, does he want a hot dog, whatever. Yeah. He might say nothing, but best to ask him. Um, get offer him some encouragement and tell him he's doing well, which yeah. he is, yeah. doing excellent. Good. So we, we are on like a 12 mile loop, so it's quite good that if he says he wants something, we can have it prepared for the next time around. It's not a huge amount of time for him to have to wait. It's also long enough for us to like make something. So um, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna video this, it'll be like an F1 pit stop. Matt, you're changing rear light, is that right? Ruth and Alan are on changing nutrition and emptying pockets of rubbish. Okay. I'll just be floating in case anybody shouts anything. Okay, got it, right. <laughs> That's probably the most important job. Sweeper, like um, Matthias. I'll tidy up afterwards. Kate, we haven't introduced you. We've introduced everybody else from the support crew. Uh, you guys might already know Kate, 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 Kate from the race squad videos. Uh, Kate is Triple Brutal James's other half, but it's also Brutal Duathlon Kate. Is that right? <laughs> Winner. Um, so Kate's obviously played a big part in supporting James in a lot of the events he's done. So, so you're very, very experienced in this sort of event. I am, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sitting down. I'm, I'm very experienced in sitting down for a long time. Excellent. So we've all started strong and now I think we're all going to flag and Kate's actually going to carry us through the night. So uh, that's the plan anyway. I don't know if I'm going to get up from it. <laughs> yeah, get him off the road when he comes in. Lee! It's not him. No, it's <laughs> oh, this fantastic. is like looking for you at Iron Man Wales. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need oh. on your own son. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, buddy. He's not even wearing black. Lee! Bravo! What do you need, mate? Right, do you want some salty food? Do you want your socks changing? Uh, no, fine. Okay, stick it eating. Okay, what do you want to eat, mate? Yeah, we've got cake. Do you want a sandwich? Sweet. Do you want a sandwich? 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 Do
You just want one of these red rolls, Lou? A bit more water. Yeah. So you put your foot back in the other roll. Can't see it. Just hold this bike, yep. Lee, you're absolutely flying by the way. Oh god, I'm not. No, you are. Honestly, there's so many people dropping like flies and you're in there, wicked, honestly. <laughs> These are a bit annoying. Yeah. What about potato salad, Lee? Will you eat that? No, Jay. They laugh at me when I suggest a trifle, yeah. Lee, but they're wrong. Do you want to swap feet? Foot. Thanks. 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 I was just getting bored of the same thing yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Right, mate. This is good. Yeah. We'll get you another one for when you're around. Do you want another next. sandwich? The orange one. We'll get you some sandwiches. It's hard to get it down because it's like. We'll have a sandwich ready for the next time you're around, okay? Probably be something else different in Cheese or something. Yeah. Got some yeah. better or something. We did that quick. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about mess, just get it down here. You don't worry about it. We'll sort of mess. Yeah. We'll sort it. Well, you don't want uh, we've got one carbon and one more. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh. No, that's alright. Oh, we've got black coat in the yeah, yeah, instead of that. Any kind of clean with cram things. Could do it a week. Yeah. I think you can go around there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. push him. Yeah. Does anyone know how long I've been stopped? Uh, yeah, about four or five minutes. We better take time now and get through the next few hours. There'll be a sooner cream and sandwich ready for you when you're on your next route down. If you don't want to stop it, I'll put it back in the fridge and be able to go on after that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're alright now. Yeah. What do you want in your bottles that we're going to hand up to you? Water, carb mix? So hard to know. Alright, yeah. All right, we'll just we'll, we'll hold out water and carbon. If you want anything different, shout it up like, for the next lap. Yeah. I feel a lot better now. Good. Yeah. We've got it. Oh, it's brilliant. And full of that in the uh um, wet, wet wipe, for example. Bowls will do me a treat. Oh, sorry. And full of that in the bowls will yeah. do me good. Well, I'll let you take care of that with your mother perhaps. <laughs> you know if these cause you too much jit on the next lap we could pull when you stop next time, we could pull them out and pin them on. Yeah, I think I better try and do a few laps without stopping. Yeah, I don't right. want to get in the habit okay. of stopping okay. all Let's the time. Let's get you going then. I think stopping's got to be a bit of a treat, and yeah. it? There's some hard uh, yeah. miles in the bank. Three laps at the <laughs> yeah. I don't know where it's Third time round here. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, You're a lucky boy. You're a lucky boy. Oh, my oh no, God. that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> right, Lee, come on, we need to get you on now. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. Feel better, mate? Yeah. Brand new. It's like it's only just starting now. Yeah, Last it's just beginning, mate. Just starts to get a bit cooler now. Yeah. Look out for us with bottles. If you have to pull in to grab a bottle, fair enough. <laughs> But don't stop properly for three laps, yeah. okay? You've got fresh water on your down tube and carb mix behind you. Seen a bit. Oh, that's better. Wait. Go on, Lee, settle into that tempo. Right, come on, mate. Come on, Lee, keep going, mate. Good start. 
how do you think it was then James you're the one talking to him what yeah, did, what fine, do you think? After that stop. good yeah. he said he felt better didn't he yes definitely it makes a world of difference you mm -hmm. know because you're it's not even the food it's not even the rest you're out there on your own aren't you mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you realize mm -hmm. oh there's all these people here they want me to do it oh and actually I'm not doing all right they're pleased mm -hmm. they're smiling and it gets you going again yeah, so, yeah. good so the only issue he's had up today is put a bit of pseudocreme on his undercarriage. Uh, he's had some hot feet, so he's had his feet in cold water. Other than that, he didn't have any physical complaints. No, did he, so. no. But I think the only thing that surprises me is perhaps his feet so early, yeah. but it is scorching. Yeah. Um, but other than that, no, I think he's in good nick. Yeah. Okay. And he looked a lot better when he left. Yeah. So. Good. Okay. Well done, team. Good work, Matt. <laughs> I know <we> play. <laughs> James, I can sense a question arising in the comment section down below. Does a 24-hour TT kind of remind you of the time? Yeah, I was saving that. And now you've rushed it and spoiled it, haven't you? Sorry. I was saving that. Um, um, this is considerably longer on the bike than I spent on the triple. Yeah. Um, and the amount of time I spent on the bike was about 18 and a half hours, I think, Matt. Was it 19 hours, yeah. something like that? I wouldn't want to have spent another second right. on the bike. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously this event, as wonderful as it is, is definitely lacking a swim beforehand. <laughs> and um, I mean, Lee even had to put his feet in a bucket because they weren't wet to start with. So, And then, obviously, I don't know what they're going to do tomorrow when they get off the bike. I mean, I assume they're going to run a triple marathon <laughs> up and down Snowden. <laughs> Go on, Mike. Well done. Good work, Lee. Looking good. He's looking alright, aren't he? There you go, we're not needed. We'll go and have a nap. Brilliant. 37 minutes, that was awesome. Go on, Lee. Water. Yeah, water. Make your 14th. Good riding. Right, so as the first day, sounds crazy saying this, draws to a close, Lee has done 164 miles. Uh, his elapsed time is about seven hours and 50 minutes. So I'm gonna end this video here, leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger, granted, just as we go into the night section. Uh, he's been riding well, <laughs> he's taking on fuel and stuff, he's looking good. So here's to the here's to the night ahead, guys. Just getting the uh, fairy light set up and then we're in for the, in for the night shift. So please do stick around tomorrow at 4pm we will see the, uh, the the night shift so see you then